way somewhere. Get on that way there. There it is. Once the coordinates stopped bouncing around, we uh, found it pretty easily. First one of the day, and this one's down by the bay. That's what it says anyway. You can see the bay from here, so let's go take a look. Day seven of geocaching the north shore of Lake Erie. Let's go. So there you go, there's the bay. And it had a cool little lighthouse there. Next, let's go off to the Earth Cache. Yeah, we gotta keep going east. Come on, let's go. at the side of the road so we stopped to pick up some fruit and vegetables and there was a winery as well so it's a little bit hidden but we came back and look at the beautiful view. It's great little spots like this that make it worthwhile getting off the highway not just to go geocaching but to find spots like this. Yeah, I don't think it's under that tree. I think it's underneath this one. See if uh, Lyric Glass can grab it out. I reached in, or I looked in, I could see glass or plastic. So yeah. right, up in, right up in there. Oh, in there. Yeah, see it? Yeah. yeah, it's a peanut butter jar. Oh, peanut butter jar. Get it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, don't drop it. It's a, it's a long, long way, way down. down. <laughs> there we go. This wasn't the geocache that we, are, we were after, but uh, it'll do. It's a nice one. Cool scenery. The other geocache we were after was called, have you ever seen a turkey point? Or do you, have you seen a turkey point? But it's about, you know what, another 220 meters Bushwhack. through this. We don't see any specific trail, so. We're just gonna take this one and uh, move on east. Be on our merry way. Yeah. This one's called point, uh, Turkey Pointless. <laughs> That's a cool point. Right on the edge of these two, uh, right on the edge of these two ravines. That's really cool. That was a cool one. Yeah, that was a challenge to go around and dig in and get it. Yep. But we'll have to leave the other one for now. Yeah, it's all bushwhacking. Yeah, because we're on a schedule. We've got to get you to Fort Erie. And we've only got today and the next episode to get you there. Let's go. So at this mystery cache, we have to get information off of the plaque. And this is part of a War of 1812 site that I had no idea existed. There was a blockhouse located here, but it didn't survive, and it was later abandoned by the British. Huh, who knew? Punch the numbers from the plaque into the calculations that they wanted us to make, and we're off to the final. See if we can get this one. And Lyric Glass is getting close. Haven't you found it yet? No. No? What? I'm going in. It doesn't matter what the checksum is because it was only off by one, but it's look, right it's there. right there. <laughs> 
we were having a little discussion about the checksum, which said it was 27, and we got, uh, well, one number off. And I was saying it doesn't matter because one number off in the hundreds is a matter of probably just three feet. <laughs> so as we were discussing it, we both looked up at the same time and there it was. <laughs> Not only is it a historical site, location for an adventure lab, but it's also a geocache here. We're getting it all in one stop. This is a nice quiet little beach, a little stream coming by. I was just debating whether it's a creek, a stream, or a brook. A little, a little brook coming by? I guess it's a little creek, but a little creek coming by. Oh no, oh, this could take a while. This is a cache of 50 quotes. We got to look through all of these to get the log sheet. And the bugs are out. Hopefully we can have enough blood left over when we're done. Let's get to it. Not in this one. Nope. No, it's not this one. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. <laughs> I hope someday you'll join us and the world will live as one. Always forgive your enemies. Nothing, no noise, the more. <laughs> you don't love someone because they're perfect. You love them in spite of the fact that they're not. In this one. Not in that one, but it's in this one. Ah. <laughs> Didn't take too long. We lost track after about 25. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where, where what, what number we're at, but we got it. We got in. That was a fun one. It was very inspiring. Just like we did with the winery and stopped for a tasting, we were about ready to turn right down Highway 24 and we saw the sign for Colonel Peanuts. We've never tried Colonel Peanuts, so we thought we'd come on, see what they're like. And there happens to be a cache here, straight in front of the big elephant. I like the hint on this one. You're right in the path of a charging elephant. So these black peanuts are really good. Yeah, we never we hadn't seen them before, so we thought we'd try them out. Yeah, they're very, very we enjoy them. creamy. It's almost like you said. They're popcorn. almost like popcorn. Yeah. yeah. There's a nano somewhere on this anchor or on the chain. And it's a four one or a four one and a half. The high difficulty rating is because it's right in the park and you're right under the public eye, but Man, it's going to take forever. Did you find it? I did. Awesome. There you go. This one could have been so much worse. Oh, yeah. And uh, it didn't take as long as I thought this was going to, but... I think we better get going. It's yeah. starting to pour. Well, you know, it's uh, the end of the episode, so it's a good thing we Perfect. finished up and the rain yeah. is just starting. Thanks for joining us here on episode seven. We're gonna see you again on the next episode and that'll be the last because we're going from here, Port Dover, all the way to Fort Erie where we're gonna tie this series up. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Yep, and where will geocaching take you, you to a nano in a chain? <laughs> we'll see ya. Well, there you go. There's the bay with a little lighthouse out the way there. Hey, there's a one one. Hey, there's a what? Hey, there's a one one nearby. Do you want to go get it? Sure. One ones can be tricky though. I wonder yeah. if we can get it. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs>